Hey y'all, I am making homemade deodorant today. It's all natural and there's nothing toxic in it and um oh, wait, there's smoke rolling out of the oven because we're doing a honey glazed <laughs> ham. So it's not yeah, from the deodorant. It's not from the deodorant. It's, it's so this is essence of ham deodorant. No, not really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> essence of ham. That would be disgusting. So um I have <laughs> to try not to smell like <laughs> <laughs> gross. I have this recipe on my blog. Um so I'll go ahead and link that in the description along with all of what the ingredients I'm using. Let me turn this down a little bit. It's kind of boiling. Um, but I set up a double boiler here. It's a makeshift. I use my little glass. It's a four cup measuring cup and then the pot, of course. It's boiling. Um, I like to use this because I can pour it easily into my containers. Uh, again, I'm doubling this because we have a lot of armpits around here. Um, but the single recipe is on the blog. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my coconut oil. And, whoops, that's not gonna work. I have too much water in my pot. I just okay. prayed that. Let me dump a little water out. Okay. I thought it might be too much, but then I figured it would work. But then you Good just enough. Missed it off. Well, I got busy doing something else and forgot, oh. actually. Okay, that's better. So we'll turn that back up. So what I do is I put in my coconut oil and we use the virgin coconut oil so that it's got all of its um, properties still there. And you don't overheat it. And I don't overheat it. Yeah, I just want to melt it. And then I put in the beeswax. We have beeswax that we got from a, um, a guy who does bees in Virginia and he did completely... Um, he wasn't certified organic, but it was completely natural, no chemicals. And we got a bunch of wax from him one time. You can order wax online. I have this, so I just chop it up the smaller the pieces, the faster it will melt. So put that in. And this. This is the longest part of making. Yeah, because it takes a while. It's really easy to make, but the wax takes a while to melt. So. Some of this um, wax has, sometimes there's little bits of stuff in it. Like I said, it's from a beekeeper and I, I heated the wax before and let all the impurities rise and scraped them off and that, but you know, a few little pieces here and there. They don't, still, hurt anything. they don't hurt anything. It's all natural. But so we switched to using natural deodorant after we started, you know, being more conscious about our health and what we're putting in our bodies and on our bodies about six years ago. And um, one of the first things we did was switch deodorant because uh, a lot of deodorants have parabens and all kinds of chemicals and toxins in them and your armpits have a whole lot of lymph nodes and things in them, a very sensitive area and you're drawing all that into your body. And so we decided that was one of the first things we were going to do to eliminate those toxins and um, we've had a really hard time finding deodorant that's natural, that really works. We found a couple brands, but then they're really expensive. So um, I looked up some recipes and this is the one that we finally found that actually really works. Um, keeps the stink away, helps keep the sweat to a minimum. And um, it has cornstarch and baking soda in it. Um, some people, are really sensitive to baking soda like they will break out so if you're one of those people you can swap the baking soda out for arrowroot powder which you can order online or get at a natural health food store kind of place and then also you use, put a link yeah i'll put a link in the description for that well, for all the ingredients i'll do that um and then we use essential oils just um for two reasons for one just the smell and to you know give it a nice scent and also for the um the positive, the good properties they have. You know, they promote um, good things for your body, your immune system, and things like that. So I use frankincense and a protective blend that you know kind of helps keep the ickies away. You know, if there's a lot of germs going around and stuff like that, it's just something good to have every day. So if you're going to be putting deodorant on every day, it's a good way to get your essential oils on every day. It's coming along. Like I said, this takes a while. You can buy the little bitty wax pellets. Um, on Amazon or wherever online, but um, and they would melt a whole lot faster. But this is what we have, so we're using it. We want bees. We're planning to get bees some point. Hopefully this year we'll get bees, and um, I'm looking forward to 
having wax of our own to make stuff with. All right, our beeswax is just about melted. There's just a couple little chunks left. So that took about five minutes or so for it to melt. Yep. And I keep it overheat when I mix um, the rest of the ingredients in because it will start to solidify pretty quickly because that beeswax, once the beeswax starts cooling, it starts to get solid. Um, the coconut oil will also you know, get solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these two little pieces, get them done. Just about. It will clump some, so I just mix it and smash the clumps out on the sides. So you want it to be smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the eye off too. Yeah, cornstarch, not baking soda. No, this is the cornstarch. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking at it. I thought this is not behaving. <laughs> you're right. I know. Soda. You're right. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I really do. Well, it's okay. It doesn't matter the order that they go in. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just dump in the dry ingredients next. Yeah, that's better. Working? Oh, it just has to dissolve all the clumps. Mm -hmm. You want smooth deodorant. Nobody wants lumpy <laughs> deodorant in their pits. No. You can, um, we ordered these containers. I've also taken old deodorant containers that we um, have used, like the old natural deodorants we use, and I've cleaned them out and used them. But I went ahead and ordered new ones um, on Amazon. But I've also put them in little jars, like the little bitty mason jars, and um, use my fingers for application. But it's, it's not nearly as convenient. No, it's not as convenient. It can be messier. Plus, Jacob likes to find them and dig in them, and then we don't have any gear. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I'm going to do about 15 drops or so of each of these essential oils since I've double batched. Or 16. Or 16, yep. Oops. Woo! Almost made a big mess there. Yeah, I do 10 to 20 for a single batch, so. I just want to make sure it's mixed in really good. And then I always make a mess when I do this part. I'm going to swap sides, babe. Okay. So that we can see what you're doing. All right. I just... Pours in really easily. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. Or is that the ham? I don't even know. And then after I'm done, I usually stick these in the fridge for five or ten minutes just to um, cool them quickly. Helps them set up. Once they set up, though, they don't melt unless it were to get really, really hot. Unless your but, air conditioner doesn't work yeah. and you live in Florida. And it's well, 80 even, degrees in the house. Even when it was 80 degrees, it didn't get completely... It didn't liquefy. No, it, it just got liquefy. soft. It just got softer. Yeah. All right. Sorry for interrupting you. No, it's okay. And this one has a few clumps, and it won't hurt anything. You have clumps. All right. I wasn't sure if it would fill five full ones or six or what. And then I just gently tap them. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Yep. You got hope, Kylie? Uh oh, I think she's getting hungry. Yep. She needs mama. All right. And that's that simple. 
And now we have four sticks of deodorant, four, and my spot sticks of deodorant for our family.